Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Tonight we're going to be looking at the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter V Chun-Li, number two in the series. Number one being Ryu, which I reviewed a couple of days back comparing it to Storm Collectibles Street Fighter V Ryu. You can check that video out if you already haven't in the link below. Looking at the box, again it's your standard SH Figure Arts box white background, some blue graphics down at the bottom, Street Fighter V logo, we have a shot there of Chun-Li at the front. Looking on the side, it carries on over with number two in the series, Chun-Li. Looking on the other side, some nice artwork of Chun-Li from the Street Fighter V game. And on the back, we have Chun-Li in some of her action poses showcasing some of the accessories that she comes with and some tech specs at the bottom. So after taking a look at Ryu, I had some issues with the paint and sculpt work not being too consistent, but overall a really fun, really poseable figure. So let's see how Chun-Li stacks up and take her out of the package. Okay guys, so before I begin, I think it's worth mentioning that Chun-Li, like Ryu, is based on the Street Fighter V game, but both figures don't actually resemble their game or model counterparts uh, all that well, actually. And I think a lot of that has to do with their face prints or their face sculpts. Um, they actually have a more cartoony, anime-esque feel to them. And that, in my opinion, can be a good thing or a bad thing. A bad thing if you're looking for game accurate figures but also a good thing if you're just after a generic Street Fighter figure uh, which I think has a lot of potential especially when you mix these figures uh, from other other lines like Marvel Legends uh, you can definitely have a really nice Marvel vs Capcom setup there uh, which is you know, personally what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these figures because they scale actually really well and um, the look of them I think will go really well with some Marvel Legends or even the Revolt, uh, sorry, the Revel Tech, some of the newer Revel Tech figures that are coming out like uh, Wolverine, we have um, Spider-Man and Deadpool as well but uh, I think these figures will look really great up on the shelf with other figures from other lines too. So looking at the figure itself, Chun-Li stands a little under 150 centimeters, so a little less than 6 inches. And standing her next to Ryu, she is shorter than Ryu is, uh, as she should be. Uh, on the box, it says that Chun-Li stands at 169 centimeters and Ryu stands 175, so scale-wise, they work really well together. And like Ryu, for me anyway, I really can't fault the figure. There really isn't anything that I have an issue about. Overall, it's a great representation of the character, and again, just a ton of fun to pose. Looking at the paintwork, dark solid brown for the hair, no shading, no highlights, her, her buns, the headpieces, they are a solid white plastic with the details painted gold. Her costume is a solid blue plastic and these parts down here, they're soft rubber plastic. Uh, usually I'm not a fan of shiny plastic or shiny paintwork, it kind of gives a uh, a cheap feel to it, but I guess in this case uh, I think it's meant to represent uh, her Chinese silk dress and it works. There's a nice contrast between the the matte finish and the costume itself, so I can forgive that. The pattern details, they're painted gold and painted fairly well overall. Um, there is a splodge right there but nothing too major. We have some nice shading on her thunder thighs, 
uh, some nice shading carrying over to her boots. It's not very prominent, but it's there. Her skin tone is a nice kind of pale beige, which suits the character quite well, I think. Her boots are a solid white plastic as well, so you won't have to worry about getting any paint rub when uh, you try to pose her feet. Proportion and sculpt wise, I think they did a really good job representing Chun-Li, um, especially with her exaggerated thighs. Uh, that's really iconic of the character and I'm really happy they did that instead of giving her a more generic female body type. So really happy about that. So Chun-Li has some great articulation which makes posing her a lot of fun and actually really easy. Uh, first of all, her headpieces, they're on swivels. So uh, sometimes they tend to get in the way when you're moving the arms and the head around, but you can get around that by positioning them in the way that you want them. Also, her head is on a hinge, but no ball. It's kind of a straight peg that goes into her head on an angle. So she still has her tilt. She can get side to side. She doesn't look up very much, but looks down pretty well. And that's because her head and her neck joint are in separate pieces. She has a butterfly joint, so she has inward, forward and backward shoulder movement. And <clears throat> the way that her costume is molded, she doesn't get outward that far up, but it's enough, I think. Uh, you have the full 360 and you can actually kind of pop out the shoulder a little bit to get that extra bit of movement because if you don't it does tend to hinder it just pop it out a little bit tuck that in and that's how much she can get okay, she has a single elbow joint but it does get a lot better than 90 degrees which is great she has a upper bicep swivel uh, her cuffs or her bangles studded bangles you can actually twist them and they move you can probably actually take it off but i'm not going to try that she has a wrist swivel and a hinge going in and going out she has a upper and lower torso joint so you can get a lot of really good range um, crunching forward crunching back and these two joints are the joints that really make her action poses seem really natural which I really like moving on to the the hips the hips are those newer figure arts uh, hips you know you see I think you've seen these these leg joints uh, these covers that cover up the legs when you uh, stretch the legs out in um, figure arts Bruce Lee and you know they cover up those gaps pretty well and they give her a really good range of motion uh, movement so she can kick pretty far out and also do her iconic spinning bird kick which she needs her thighs can move in and out at the crotch which is nice uh, I'm glad that they didn't actually give her the traditional thigh cut that a lot of Marvel Legends figures do it looks a lot cleaner and works just as well I mean I'm, you're not going to be spinning her leg full 360 anyway so it works quite nice she has a single joint for her knee but goes further than 90 degrees she can kick forward that much 
and kick far kick back quite a lot actually you can go all the way like 180 which is excellent um, like I said her rubber piece her rubber the rubber pieces of her dress uh, don't really hinder the movement and one thing I missed um, earlier is that uh, the sculpt work of the rubber pieces you can actually see the the seams and the stretch marks um, you know which is a really nice touch to her sculpt and costume she also has she doesn't have a boot cut but she has a hinge for her feet going really far back and going this far forward she has toe articulation and she also has ankle tilt ankle pivot as well but because of the way that the boot is mold, boot is molded it does hinder it just a little bit so she can this is how far she can stand with both feet flat on the ground so you get a good set of accessories for Chun Li. She comes with four sets of hands, two fisted hands that come packaged. She comes with two kind of closed fingered open palm kind of matrix hands or salute hands. They're pretty cool. She comes with two open palm hands and I believe that in the game she has a fireball move so these would be perfect for that and she has these two kind of stylized open palm hands as well Chun Li also comes with three interchangeable faces her neutral face her shouting face And a, a kind of smiling face and all of them are done digitally printed really well to change them out all you need to do is I find that if you go from underneath the head and pull it out it comes out really easily just pop the new face in there we go hands pretty easy your standard SH figure arts ball and hinge be careful not to hurt yourself with the gauntlets and that's it So like Ryu, Chun-Li also comes with an effect piece and this is to simulate her lightning kick move that she uses often in the game and if you've played the game before you know what I mean. Um, it's a nice clear plastic that's been painted yellow, kind of like a clear yellow and on the tips they have some white details which is pretty cool and I'm really happy that they included it, it just adds you know some some more playability, some more posing options. And all you need to do to attach it is you split it in half. The bigger piece goes onto the front of the leg. And I know I'm going to have trouble putting this on on camera, but I'll try my best. The small piece goes on the back. upside down oops like so and the cool thing is Chun Li also comes with a clear white stand sorry a clear stand it's not white there is a hole right there on the back of the effect part you plug that in
I get him to go inside. There we go. Snaps in. And then you just position it in the way. you want it. So overall, I'm really happy with Figure Arts Chun-Li. I'm sure Storm Collectibles will come out with a more game accurate version, but for me, I'll be mixing my Figure Arts Street Fighter figures with, you know, some Marvel figures um, for a Marvel vs Capcom display and keeping the Storm Street Fighter figures together for a Street Fighter only display. Again, you know, what I like about this figure is the overall ease of playability, uh, the potential this figure has, uh, the rest of the series has with, you know, other lines. Um, on its own, Figure Eyes chun -Li's is a solid figure, and it's, it's hard to find anything I don't like about it because there's just so much good about this figure. Chun-Li, here in Japan anyway, has pretty much sold out in most retailers. So I think the line is doing pretty well and I think it will continue to keep pumping out new characters. I know it means more money to spend but there is definitely a lot of fun factor to these figures. Um, in saying that, I do recommend it but if you missed out or still are on the fence about these, I'm sure Figure Arts will reissue them again somewhere down the track. That being said, Thanks a lot guys for watching, you are the best. Uh, my next video will probably be on Monday, uh, after the weekend. Uh, it'll be the Japanese exclusive Rogue One box set that includes the exclusive Death Trooper Squad Leader, I think. Um, so look out for that. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Subscribe if you already haven't, like it, share it comment and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.